Hey guys, welcome back. So today's look is going to be a very quick, glowy, everyday makeup look. So to begin with, we're going in with the Pantene Pro-V Overnight Miracle Repair Serum for this hair. I just got it cut and I have made a vow to stay away from as much heat products as I can. So I'll take this product when I just wet my hair and I have nowhere really to go, which I don't, I'm not leaving my house today. So I'll take it and run it through my hair, make sure it's good and incorporated, brush my hair out, and then put it up in a bun. This product has, okay, so let's, today's products are all going to be pretty much my tried and trues. If it's an everyday look for me, it's something that I trust. It's something I'm going to go in with every single day even when I'm in a hurry to get to work. So I'm going to make sure that it's something that I use and I approve of. So everything in this video, it has my stamp of approval. So I'll take about three to four pumps of this, run it through my hair, brush my hair, throw it up in a bun. And something also I do is I take these little baby hairs because they're generally hairs that don't get cut. So they're the ones that are the most damaged right along my sideburns and around my hair. Oops. So I'll take just a little bit of that and run it to my fingers and then run it on the sideburns. Make sure that's good and coated. And then what I'll do is I'll just leave my hair in the bun and let it dry as is. And onto the face. I've already moisturized my skin with the Neutrogena Oil Free Moisture for Combination Skin and put the EOS Lip Balm on my lips as always. So we'll go in with our ELF e.l.f. Mineral Infused Face Primer. I'm only using two pumps today rather than the normal three because, I mean, it's a very simple, light makeup look. I've got a bride coming today and we're going to do some test runs, so I wanted to have a fresh face on for my bride. And then we're going in with the, inf for foundation, we're going in with the L'Oreal Infallible Total Cover 24-Hour Foundation in 301 Classic Ivory. And we'll use our Sigma Flat Kabuki F80 Stippling Brush, uh, Flat Kabuki F80 Brush to blend that in. This foundation is a very light, foamy consistency when you first squeeze it out. And I don't know, it just, it sits on my skin so beautifully. I don't have to set my whole face like I normally would with other foundation because it doesn't feel sticky on my skin. I just, I really enjoy this foundation. And because it is so full coverage, at, at least to me it is, it's full enough coverage that it hides my blemishes, it hides my dark circles, but my freckles still show through. And on a light everyday look, I want my skin to look as natural as possible so I like this because it evens out my skin tone it hides the parts I want to hide and it shows the parts I it hides the parts I want to hide and it shows the parts that I want to show now we're gonna go in with the shade light palette with our contour brush from real techniques as always and we're setting our eyes our nose our chin and our forehead the same places that we would normally set if we had concealer on we're gonna set anyways because that is my t-zone area where I generally get oily other than that we're really not gonna set our face um, for some reason today I felt like getting out of the box for my contour brush with the morphe m438 and it just it didn't work for me it was a little too long and tapered and I like it much more as a highlighting brush than a contour brush it just it didn't work so I'll pick up my Morphe stippling brush that I normally use. I stepping out of stepping out of the box. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So we're just gonna contour our cheeks very lightly and then run it over our temples. And just give us a good little dimension of color. I don't really use blush that much because my face is naturally red and it shows through my foundation anyways. So I'll just do contour and then highlight, which is the Becca 
shimmering skin perfector pressed powder in pearl and we'll use a fan brush for this we're going over the tops of our cheeks our brow bone our nose our chin and our cupid's bow i wanted a very glowy natural looking look for today because i want my bride to be natural and glowy so let's match our bride and then afterwards we'll go in with our goof proof brow pencil from benefit in the color shade number four and for this we're just filling in our tail the tail end of our brow making sure that it's all a uniform size uniform shape and then we'll set our brows with the benefit ready set brow clear brow gel it's some beautiful stuff it's just old and it's hard for me to open <laughs> we'll set those real quick because they we don't want them going anywhere and then we're going to take our Tarte Fake Awake um, water, Waterline Pencil Liner. And it's a, just a beautiful nude color that wakes up your eyes and makes your eyes look beautiful, brighter, wider, and wide awake. And then we're going to go in with our Jaclyn Hill Morphe Palette, as always. And I'm telling you, this is our tried and true foundation, our tried and true makeup look. And we'll go in with the Sigma E25 and the shade Silk Cream. It's not my normal transition shade, but for lighter, more brighter looks like today, I'll go in with Silk Cream rather than MFEO. And then afterwards, we'll take this um, Morphe like packing brush. I really don't know what else to call it. Just packs color on. And I'll take the shade Buns and pack Buns all over my lid with this um, brush it doesn't have to be precise it doesn't have to be pretty just make sure your lid is covered with a nice even coat because we'll go in with another brush uh, just a more fluffy morphe brush um, than our first one with the shade pooter and uh, blend the transition shade and our lid shade together so it's an even gradient from transition to crease color to lid color and i'm telling you guys a transition shade normally it's mfeo but today silk cream so a transition shade buns and pooter in some kind of order is generally what i go in for my everyday eyeshadow i don't get fancy i don't get crazy i just something very neutral and warm and i like the red browns that these three shades kind of bring to the table. So we'll blend all that out. And of course we'll take our Sigma E40 and blend everything together. So we want it to look like one even gradient from top to bottom. And then after that, we'll take our pinky as always in the shade in light, beautiful highlight color and throw it in our inner corner. I always highlight my inner corner and 90% of the time, probably more likely 99% of the time, it's gonna be the shade in light. And after that, our eyeshadow's done. We just curl our lashes, and then after that, we use the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara in the shade Black is Black. You know the drill, two coats on top, one coat on your bottom lashes. The top lashes, make sure you go up and down to do, to truly coat the lash don't forget the top half of your lash most people do and this is what i use when i don't want to it's what i use daily i don't use falsies i don't do anything like that because i truly find that i don't need it if i use the right kind of technique for my mascara then after we put some more lip balm on our lips we'll set our face with the hard candy sheer envy long wear setting spray and then that is it, you guys. Very easy, very wearable. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got to go make sure my house is ready for my bride. She'll be here in a couple hours. Wish me luck, you guys. I'll see you on the next one. Let me know what you want to see. Bye.